What's up everybody and welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Today we're going to talk a little bit about, I've gotten a few questions about talking about how to keep steroid gains after you come off steroids. So the big secret guys is, is this, you can't, you cannot keep gains that you've made on steroids. I don't care what anybody says, all the bullshit you read about how well after you have the, the gains with the steroids, you have muscle memory so you can rebuild it faster. Everything that you've heard about, well, you know, if you gain 30 pounds, you lose 10. Bullshit, okay? Everything you gain, you lose. And there is no way to get that muscle back unless you go back on the drugs that you were on to regain the muscle back. Plain and simple. Period. I don't care what anybody says. No post-cycle therapy, HCG, before, during cycle therapy. It doesn't work unless you have that steroid bound to the receptor and it's continually stimulating that receptor and you have the training stimulus along with the recovery, you're not going to put that muscle back on or even come close to maintaining it. If you, you know, took a, a pro hormone or whatever or, you know, a steroid or whatever. Now, well, actually, let me back up a little bit. Let me go back to explain to you guys why I feel like this. So in 20, 23, 24 years of training, and I used steroids heavily for a number of those years. And there were times that I decided to not take them anymore. There was actually this one point where I said, you know, I'm going to clean. I'm not going to take them anymore. And I'm not going to, um, you know, have some laying around, whatever. I'm just done. So here's what happened. I went through my, you know, HCG during my cycle. Keep your testicles working, etc. And then I made sure I had my post-cycle therapy, everything set up. I had my Novadex Clomid. I had... Um, uh, my HCG set up, and then even had something called tryptorelin, which is like a, one of the newest thing that's like a one-shot thing that resets your body back on, on target. And I went through all of this, and I felt good for like a month. I was off in like a month, and I was like maintaining my gains. My strength wasn't really dropping. I said, this is it. I mean, I finally did it. I found the right combination for, you know, to come off and maintain my gains, and this is the way it works. Second month came, I started to lose a little bit. It wasn't that noticeable yet, but I lost that fullness that I had on the steroids. So maybe like five or six pounds would come off, but I had still maintained a whole bunch of that weight that I had gained during steroid use. Third month came. This is 12 weeks into being off. Everything. Clean. 100% clean. And then it drastically hit me like a sledgehammer. My body fat went up. My muscle came down. No matter how I dieted, how I did cardio, how I trained in the gym, nothing was keeping my body looking the way that it did three weeks before. It didn't work. And I had done my PCT right. I had done all that shit. And flat out, it didn't work. You know, so now, fast forward, you got to wait five, six months, depending on how long it takes your body to actually kick back in on its own. You know, some doctors will prescribe you HCG for that whole time, you know, and Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But the bottom line is you cannot keep the steroid gains. Now, from the aspect of how some of these guys are keeping them while they're going off, they're saying, yeah, well, you know, I gained 45 pounds and I kept 40 of it. Let me tell you how they're doing that and why they're saying that. So I had a buddy who uh, claimed, he always claimed, oh, I'm off, I'm clean, I'm off, I don't take anything, blah, blah, blah. Well, his idea of off was a cc of testosterone a week and a cc of DECA. 400 milligrams a week was his idea of off, okay? And then he wouldn't tell anybody about it. Until one day we had to go somewhere, and he gets in my car, and he's Mr. Clean, he's off, he's not taking anything, and he pops a couple Prima Bowlin tablets. Now, you can't even find those things anymore, but back then, you could get them. And I said, what are you doing? I thought you were off. And he goes, oh, it's just a little Prima Bowlin. It doesn't really do that. It doesn't do anything. It just you know, helps, you know, helps me feel a little better. And I go, you're still on a steroid. You're still taking something, and that's why you're not losing the weight. Yes, you may not be as big as you were, but you're not crashing and losing that weight because you're still taking 400 milligrams a week of injectables and 25 milligrams a day, twice a day, of Prima Bowlin. That's not off. That's a whole other stack. That's a whole other cycle. Or you get a lot of these guys that are like, well, I'm off. I don't take anything. I'm off now. Okay, what do you consider off? HCG, they consider that off. So now they're doing whatever their protocol is for that. HGH, okay, because that's not part of, you know, the testosterone stuff that works on your HPTA. IGF-1 uh, and clenbuterol. Okay, that is not off. That's a whole different stack. But you're still on drugs that are helping you maintain that muscle mass. So let this be a lesson to you guys. You know what? If you want to use steroids, go ahead and use steroids. If you want to go off steroids, go ahead and go off steroids. Do whatever it is that you want that you feel is best for you, but don't break any laws, okay? Don't, I'm not telling you to break any laws. But the bottom line is if you think you're going to go on a cycle 
and you say, I'm just going to do one cycle and that's going to be it. And whatever I gain from that will be more than I would have gained training naturally. It's never one cycle for anybody. Okay, one cycle will lead to another, will lead to another, because you cannot maintain those gains. As far as the muscle memory, like people will be like, well, he's not lifetime drug free. He did steroids before, so it's easy for him to gain. No, you're so you so don't get it. I wish that ninety percent of the lifters out there that shoot their mouths off would go on a fucking cycle of steroids, so they could see how much that they they don't do what they think they do. How about how they cannot keep the gains? About how they don't make you better when you stop taking? About how they're not as powerful and won't make you a champion unless you're pushing yourself to the max and have the genetic capabilities to do it. Like, these are the things that you guys got to understand. There are upsides of, of uh, steroids and there are downsides. And one of the downsides is you can't keep the gains and it does stop your body from producing testosterone. It does mess with your cholesterol. These are the downsides, you know. So that is your personal decision to weigh out whether or not you decide the good way outweighs the bad. That's up to you guys. So I hope this clears up to you guys for... A fact. This is not my opinion. This is a fact. You cannot keep steroid gains when you come off steroids, no matter how hard you try or how good your PCT is or your diet or your training. BioCTraining at gmail.com. Comments down below. BioCTraining.com is the blog and we're out.